Okay, Daily Coaching and Accountability Partners, David Halford of Mastery Consulting. This is a good one. This is the sales technique, non-parallel, called dollarizing. Dollarizing is putting your value in hard numbers, either in writing or verbally. In other words, it's your way of using numbers to knock people's blocks off so they understand you are an expert and they should be using you for whatever that transaction or, or service is. Okay, let's talk about dollarizing. Let me give you some examples. Whenever I meet a potential new client for the first time, I have a tendency, as many of you know, to tell my story. And in my story, there are a couple of details that I never forget to mention. And in particular, just to fast forward through it, I tell the story of my brother-in-law and being a real estate professional and needing help with his business and asking me for that. And then uh, fast forward to uh, he went from uh, six transactions, $2 million gross in 2013 uh, to 3.7 the next year in million, 6.9 the year after, 9.8 million. And this year already, as of today, he's broken 11 million in production, going from a GCI or an income of, you know, 40, 50,000 to, you know, a couple hundred thousand, in fact. That's dollarizing. Now, technique number one in dollarizing is showing how much you improve their lives in dollars and cents. Brother-in-law going from 50K to a couple hundred K. Or here's another example of that I always tell in my stories. Uh, his group of seven peers, he himself and six friends that I went and coached you know, weekly for a number of years, improved from 17 million in total volume in 2013 to 37 million the next year, to 78 million the next year, literally taking the average person from a 50,000 income to an average 250 in a two year period. And I tell people all the time, just out of humility, look, it wasn't because of me. In fact, the, probably the person with the least momentum in the beginning was my own brother-in-law, which proves I can't make anything happen. And, you know, and it's not in my control. It was them that improved their results. However, it is numbers to show how much it could impact you. So that's the first technique within dollarizing. The second technique in dollarizing is using social proof to show your expertise. And you've heard me even share that in our story. This is about saying that now we're coaching in person in more than 40 different offices in a variety of different industries in person every week and every other week. Uh, so in other words, we're saying there are a lot of people using us. So we're in this accountability uh, and daily coaching and accountability program. As of this video, we're at 310 or so people in the program. That's, again, dollarizing through social proof, saying a lot of people are using us. Why wouldn't you? When people are unsure of what to do, they'll typically follow the herd even more so. So therefore, you can use statistics to can, uh, look at the impact and the scope that we have to convince people to use you. What, what if you're new in a profession or within an office? Or You can use the statistics of the office. Our team has done X number of transactions in the last five, six, seven years, that kind of thing. Okay, let's do a third example. So we've got number one, how much those, using numbers to show how much it can impact you and your results. Number two is social proof. The third element of dollarizing is creating trust through statistics. Usually that's through longevity. Give you two examples. One could be that, you know, when I was 30, 31 years of age, I was promoted to be the chief operating officer of Crescent Jewelers. In other words, I've been in serious leadership and coaching consulting positions for now decades. You need to see how old I am, right? But that shows years of tenure and expertise. Another one could be, as I mentioned, sometimes I tell the story about how I was not a good husband initially in my marriage. I was kind of a mess at the time in a variety of different ways. But somehow, miraculously, here we are literally in two weeks about to celebrate our 17th wedding anniversary. And people come to us all the time for advice and counsel, which is kind of hard to imagine. But the 17 years of marriage also shows longevity and longevity uh, breeds trust. My question for you today is understanding three subcategories, if you will, of dollarizing. How can you use dollarizing more in your sales and marketing presentations? in order to achieve a higher conversion rate.